All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to start my lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kordash, the bond to the apostles of this great millstone, Shalom to the elected nation of Israel. My name is Aratiza. All right, coming out the great millstone, uh, GMS Atlanta camp. And I uh, just want to get into a quick video, man, dealing with, of course, Bible prophecy, which we're living in, you know, the time of uh, Bible prophecy being fulfilled. All right. Which one of the major prophecies contained in the scriptures is the destruction of uh, Babylon, the great. Which is America. All right. And the first scripture that comes to mind is Revelations, the 17th chapter, which speaks about the, the whore that. Rise upon the beast Alright And how that whore is going to be burnt with fire man You know And everything that we see happening With these different nations These different you know places such as Russia Iran, China and so forth And how they're um, Upgrading their weapons Is lining right up with prophecy man Okay Because America is going to be destroyed by uh, Missiles By these thermonuclear weapons now this is an article that I just you know basically searched. I just put in the um I put I put in Google uh nuclear war and I was searching for images and this is I, I really just stumbled upon this article through the spirit. Alright, this article dates back to July 9th, 2021. Alright, and it reads uh or the title reads Going Nuclear. World is moving closer to nuclear war because Russia and China are developing new missiles and subs Pentagon warns Alright Yeah and that's right on point Because the scriptures You know Prophesied About a nuclear war Alright Now you're going to have other parts of the earth That's going to be hit By missiles But the main place of judgment Or the main target Is Babylon the Great Which is Which is talking about the United States of America Alright First scripture that comes to mind is the book of um, Isaiah chapter 9. Slack you. The book of Isaiah chapter 9. In verse 5. And it reads. For every battle of the warrior. Is with confused noise. In battle. Uh, in, excuse me. In garments rolled in blood. Alright. Which is speaking of. How the ancient wars of old were fought man. You know, it was more hand-to-hand -hand combat, swords and shields um, clashing and, and banging against one another, all right? And there was a lot of bloodshed on those battlefields, all right? But when you read on, it says, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire, all right? This is talking about this coming war, okay? Pursuant to the book of Revelations, which speaks about how the second war was passed, and behold, and behold, the third world cometh quickly. That's speaking of World War Three, man. All right, which that's war is going to be be with what burning and fuel of fire, as as we just read in Isaiah chapter nine verse five. So this is what everything is leading up to, man. Let's get another one. Isaiah chapter fifty four. In verse sixteen. It says, but hold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. Who's the I? The I is the Heavenly Father. All right? The Most High. His name is Yahweh. Through his son, Yahweh Shai, who the world uh, calls Jesus. All right? And what is the smith that they created? It's talking about that's an individual that makes weapons. All right? So you got these scientists, these engineers, you know. Uh, who have made these weapons, these nuclear missiles, and, 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 and you know, and so forth? All right, they made them because the Most High put the Spirit on them to make it to fulfill prophecy. What well, it's going to tell you? It says, "Behold, I have created the Smith that blow off the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for His work. And I have created the waster to destroy. All right, and what's the waster that's going to destroy?" All right, the thermonuclear uh, missile, which you see a um, depiction of that right there. Okay, the the, uh, the missile being launched into the sky. That's the instrument for his work that the Most High is going to use 
to uh, uh, make America desolate, to wipe America out, man. All right. So it says, last latter part, it says, and I have created the waster to destroy. See that? So the Most High put the spirit on these scientists and these engineers and so forth to make these weapons to bring forth his will, man, which is essentially to destroy America, destroy Babylon the Great, you know, and to uh, you know, play a part in that thermonuclear war, man, that's coming. I just seen another article where China basically has a missile that could basically uh, travel around the earth. Something to that effect, you know, they could they could launch the missile and the missile could basically, you know, go around the, the orbit of the earth and, and, and basically come back, man. <laughs> you see, and that links with the scripture. Where it says, um, the arrows being shot into the ends of the earth. Let's see if we can get that. I'll just put arrows. I think it says world in the verse. Yep. Yes, sir. Second is 16. And let's see. Let's we'll start at verse 11. Now we know 2nd Ezra 16 as well as 2nd Ezra 15. Both chapters are, are pretty much fire. You could really start from the top and really do a lesson on the whole chapter. You know, but that'll take an hour or hours to do. So we're going to hit, hit the main point. Verse 11, it says, The Lord shall threaten and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence. <laughs> you see that? And the people, the wicked, all right, starting with Esau, Edom, you other nations, and two-thirds of our people, you Israelites, which is the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, you're going to be beaten to powder in the presence of the Lord. And he's going to beat you to powder, or powder rather, with these plagues, man, with these particular judgments. All right? It says, verse 12, the earth quaketh, which is also going into the thermonuclear missiles. Okay? We can get that in on Revelation chapter 6. It says, In the foundations thereof, the sea ariseth up with waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes thereof also before the Lord and before the glory of his power. So the Most High going to shake things up, man. All right? He's sh he shaking things up spiritually. On a spiritual level, things are being shaken up in the earth. All right, there's a whole bunch of the confusion and chaos happening, but he's gonna physically shake this place up when he allow uh, the nations to launch them the uh, the missiles, man. All right, and here's the point, verse thirteen. It says, "For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow; his arrows that he shooteth are sharp." Because essentially, those are the most high's missiles. So we just read in Isaiah chapter fifty-four. Verse 16 that those are the most high instruments that he created. He just used the so-called white man to do it. All right. So it's really that's like the most high shooting those missiles. All right. That's like how about Shimei Shah shooting those uh, uh, arrows, if you will, on Babylon the Great, man. All right. It says his arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss. See that? So when these missiles are launched. These missiles are not going to miss their target, man. And it says what? When they begin to be shot into the ends of the earth, or the ends of the world, excuse me. So that's how you know that this is not talking about your ordinary arrow, you know, that you know that you would shoot in your backyard or you would go to like a um, archery um, range or whatever. No, this is, this is a metaphor for the missiles, you know. And I'm basically linked this with the with the article about China that got a missile that could orbit the earth, man. You know? So that's the arrow that it's speaking about. It says, Behold, verse 14, Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. And we in that time of these plagues coming upon the earth, man. And it's nothing that you can do to turn it back. All right? It's nothing that you can do. To, uh, uh, you know, bring things back to normal, you know, or put off the most high judgment so that you can continue to live in this world and be wicked. No, the plagues are here, man, and they're here to stay. 
All right, as long as America is is, is here and, and standing, the plague is going to continue to grow upon the earth, man. It says the fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. All right, yeah, and the fire is going to kindle until America is 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 a basically a complete desert, man. All right, the fire is kindled and it says shall not be put out. So <laughs> once that fire comes. You know, you ain't going to be able to call your damn, uh, you know, your uh, firefighters to help put the fire out. That's not nah, that fire is here to to do a to do a job and a purpose, which is to burn this place down. All right. Pursuing the, um, the book of Isaiah, the 13th chapter, the most High said he's going to sweep it with sweep this place with the besom of destruction. All right. A sweeping agent like a broom, man. That fire is going to come and sweep this <laughs> and sweep this place away, man. All right, 16, it says, like as an arrow, which is shot of a mighty archer, returneth not backward. All right, so when a person shoots an arrow, that arrow doesn't come back. It it, it, it goes to its target, man. That's, that's what the missiles are going to do. It says, even so shall the plagues that are that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. See that? So once the plagues are sent forth by Yahabashim, Yahushua, and his angels, that's it. It's a wrap, man. Okay, then it says what? Woe is me, woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? This is the prophet Ezra, a righteous man of Yahweh Shem Yahweh And even he's asking how he's going to be saved out of that. But he will. All right, because Ezra, first and foremost, he's an Israelite. He's an Israelite that's of the elect. Because only the elect that's here in America, all right, is going to escape that judgment. Everybody else is going to die. Okay. So in the Malachi 4 verse 1, it's another good scripture where it says the day shall come they shall, it, uh, that shall burn like an oven and all the proud, yeah, all that do wickedly shall be stubble, man. So anybody here on the shores of America, <laughs> when those missiles launch and hit, all right, you're going to perish. You're going to die. But the elect of Israel is going to be delivered, man. And then I can I can really keep going on that. All right. As I mentioned, the whole chapter is fire. I want to get another precept because you read about how the earth is going to quake. Revelations chapter 6 in verse. Getting to the point, verse 12. It says, and I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal. All right, which is which is seal is, is dealing with like a mystery. That's 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 that was uh that was hidden, but now it's being it's being it's being shown or being revealed. You know, like a prophecy. It says I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake. All right, now this earthquake is talking about when the thermonuclear missiles hit uh the United States of America or Babylon. All right, you can link this with Isaiah the twenty. The 24th chapter, I believe. Okay. Verse 19 on down, which speaks about how the earth is going real to and fro like a drunkard. That's that earthquake, man. It says, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. All right. The uh, sun being black is going into the, um, is going into the smoke. All right. The, uh, the smoke from the from the uh, from the destruction is sending up. It's gonna it's gonna block out the sun, man. All right, and then the moon becoming blood. Hey, you got the blood the the uh, blood moons, and so forth. Which the which the blood moon is also a sign of judgment. You know, because the scriptures say that what there would be signs signs in the heavens, signs in the sun, and signs in the moon. All right, thirteen it says, and the stars of heaven fell. Unto the earth. All right. What do these stars represent? The stars are is another metaphor for the thermonuclear missiles. Okay. Because when John saw the vision, it was like in, when he saw the missiles falling or coming down to America, it, it looked like it looked like stars falling out of the sky. Okay. So this is speaking about the missiles. This is even as a fig tree cast of her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. All right. And, you know, the book of Jeremiah speaks about that mighty wind. I think it's Jeremiah uh, 51, if I'm not mistaken. 
You read like the first verse. <laughs> that mighty wind, man, that nuclear destruction. It says in wind, uh, 14, in the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. It's talking about the mushroom cloud. Okay? The uh the 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 um the result or the after the aftermath, so to speak, of when the when the missiles hit. You know, when the smoke goes up, it forms that mushroom cloud. It says in every mountain and island were moved out of their places. Again, going into that great earthquake, which is and that's also symbolic. The mountains represent the governments. They're gonna be they're gonna be uh uh moved out of there, man. The governments of this earth. All right, I'm also finish the chapter off. It says, And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, because wow, you got these these bomb bomb shelters, you know, you got these different hideout shelters and whatnot. In these different areas where the Lord is going to allow them to escape. Only to what? To be put in slavery. All right. Because after America is destroyed, that's when the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of Israel is going to be established. And the Israelites are going to have slaves, man. So the people that's going to so-called escape that's not Israelites, they only escape so that they can be put in chains later. It says 16, it says, and said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us. From the face of him that sitteth on the throne, which is speaking about the Most High, and from the wrath of the Lamb, which is speaking about Yahweh Shai. It says, For the great a day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand, man? Okay, so we're approaching that time, man, of the great wrath of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai coming to this earth. You know, and we're seeing all the, the pieces line up, all right, with these. Jab mandates, which is going to lead to the MOTB, all right, so forth and so on. The rest of the prophecies, man, and the, and the, the, the top it all off, World War Three and the second coming of our Lord, man. All right, so yeah, I just wanted to do this quick, you know, quick little video. Just wanted to put up real quick. All right, stumbled across this article, you know, and the spirit just hit me to do this quick little video, man. So, yeah, man, Lord Willens was edifying. All right, giving all praise on the glory to you. How about Shem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash, and uh, Lord willing to the next uh, lesson, I'm gonna say Shalom.